Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot and this is going to be a general reading for my air signs. Welcome to my channel, to all my new subscribers, my current subscribers. Hope you guys are taking care of yourself, getting ready for this new moon in Scorpio eclipse. Okay, it's going to be a big one. So yeah, we'll do a choose a pile reading on that as well. All right, so we're going to start with, um, we're going to start with Libra, okay? So it's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. And let's begin. All right, Libra, so we're going to take a look at your next couple of weeks. We have confidence is your key to success. And that is a new moon in Leo. All right, Libra. And then we have big, happy changes. This is nice. Okay, let's see. I definitely feel like you've been facing a lot of challenges lately with what it is that you're doing, building. Okay, but I really feel like you've been quite courageous. <laughs> you've had to get on with a lot of things by yourself, not complain, face things head on. Yeah, we've got death here. Got Scorpio energy. Got this King of Wands. <laughs> and that Strength card, yes, you see? Having to be strong and face this. Yes, Ace of Swords. Wow, okay. So we most definitely have had some type of ending here. All right. It, I do feel like someone's kind of, I feel like they know what they've done, but they're, it's almost like you've done something to them. It's like poor me, poor me kind of thing. All right. And they definitely feel really isolated. They, they know that they're surrounded by snakes as well. All right. And I even feel this person sent out some snakes to come and look for you. Got seven of wands here. We've got that king of wands again. We've got the sun. I definitely feel like you kind of got away with, did the camera just turn? <laughs> did I do that? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like you got away um, I, not that you got away, I think maybe you was kind of able to put the, no, I don't think you did. Yeah, the emperor. I think maybe you left, this person feels like they don't have any answers as to what's happened. All right. Or they're just feeling like they're not in control anymore. And you guys are just focusing on making money, your business, selling, whatever it is. Yeah, look, it's like you're becoming this emperor. It's, it's almost like because of the way you've handled this situation as well, it's like you're being crowned because of it. Like you're getting what you want in another part of your life. There's a lot of communication coming to you towards you about work this week. Yeah, there's collaborations. There's, if you sell products, make products, anything like that, there's a lot of people coming in that want to sell your stuff or they want to work with you or say jump on my platform or whatever it is. But this over here. High Priestess. Yeah, see, this is the thing. I, I really feel like you've turned your back on this person. That's what being courageous and brave was about, okay? And, and keeping to it and not having anything to do with them. Right. But I feel like you're definitely protected in your group of friends or in your circle with your family. OK, you're extremely spiritual and intuitive. So I definitely feel like you've got a lot of protection around you anyway. I feel like you're highly favoured, 
flavoured, <laughs> highly flavoured, <laughs> all right, and you're really blessed. And I just think in the next two to three weeks, you're going to have so many things up in the air. There's some good news coming to you as well. You're just going to be moving away from a difficult time. So I think if someone thought that you was going to be like on your knees crying, begging or anything like that, they are sadly mistaken, okay, because you found that inner strength, okay, and like they're saying, confidence is key. All right, and it's not letting this person see you sweat. All right, so we got Leo, we got Scorpio, Aries here, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, got Leo. Right. I'll see Libra next couple of weeks. We've got main female and we've got a message coming in for you we've got high honor this is an offer you can trust and we've got change moving on up okay is it is it my stand is it me no okay yeah so you've got a message where you're going to be moving on in the right direction We've got house, we've got family home. Yeah, so there's some stability here that's coming into you. But you've also got this main male, okay? They're, they're trying to reach out to you or whatever, but I don't know. I think maybe what they're saying is a little bit worrying to you, but they're just saying don't, don't focus on them. Like you can read the message and just close it again, okay? Because they're irrelevant to you. And maybe this person is coming to challenge you a little bit as well. They're just saying, just be confident. It's okay. You got this. All right, Libra. Be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness. A contented personal life. Awakening. Change the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness. A temporary pause in action. High Priest again. Trust in your intuition, careful reflection before taking uh, action, insights that come through meditation. And then you've got a financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now, an unexpected supporter of your cause. Yes, this is my stand, isn't it? Is it loose? So yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, there's stuff, there's like help coming out of nowhere as well for you guys. And... Let's read you an angel message. I need to fix my stand. <laughs> Something loose. I'm just staring now because I'm like, go on then, let me see how, why are you, am I pulling on it? I don't think so. All right, Libra. Libra. <clears throat> we got giving and receiving. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. Uh, when you only exhale, give, or inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe for optimal health, energy, and replenishment. Balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. Okay. All right. I hope you enjoyed that reading, Libra. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And now we're going to move on to... Gemini. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so Gemini, this is your general reading for the next couple of weeks. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. And uh, don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs as well. All right, so let's see what's coming up for my Geminis. Next couple of weeks. Oh, that's too many. Can't have all of those. I'm sure it's not me pulling on this, or, or am I just going crazy? <clears throat> all right, Gemini. Oof, okay. All right, we've got show the world the real you. You've still got three. Believe in the impossible, and you've got a new start is coming. Uh, 
and that like an eclipse to me. So we've got full moon in Aquarius here. Um, oh, and we've got a new moon, which is a new moon in Scorpio, right? So, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. We've got a new, new moon. <clears throat> Oof, okay. We've got nine of wands, ace of wands, nine of cups, queen of wands. Amazing. <laughs> I do want to say though, Gemini, I feel like you've got someone lurking and I think, you know, that's why you put this guard, this barrier up, okay? And you're like, you know what? I'm not letting it down, okay? I'm not. I'm keeping you out. All right? And you've got something new and exciting coming towards you, you know, and this is something definitely worth celebrating. Sorry. I don't know if it's my thing or I'm just crazy. Yeah, and you've got something that's definitely worth celebrating coming towards you. All right, you've been really independent in what it is that you're doing. You've been extremely creative. You stand out, okay? You definitely don't conform. So let's have a look, Gemini. Ten of Cups, so you have the Nine of Cups there, and you've got the Ten of Cups, so yes. You're definitely keeping someone out of your circle, out of your happiness, out of your love bubble, okay? <laughs> yeah, Six of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, we've got Three of Wands. I just kind of feel like you guys are really dedicated and even when you feel like you can't go on or you feel stuck, you go, you keep going anyway, regardless. And I think that's what's bringing you to the, yeah, this six of wands, this praise. All right, you're doing well. This sense of achievement is definitely coming through. We've got that uh, Sagittarius. Yeah, and there's someone here, right, that I feel like you guys have probably good times with. Maybe you never really took them serious or they didn't take you that serious. But I really feel like this person is a great match for you. All right, and they do see you as the empress. There's something about you starting from the ground up again that this person kind of admires about you. We've got these ten of wands here. Yeah, maybe you guys are just thinking, can we take it further out of a specific area, you know? And we got the fool, so I want to say, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, so I feel like, Gemini, you're going to have, you know, a situation with work coming in that's going to be a blessing for you. And then I also feel like someone here is going to take the lead in terms of a relationship with you as well. Even though you've still got an ex lurking in the shadows, yeah? But you are the high priestess, all right? You're extremely intuitive. You're using your intuition. You're guarding yourself right now. I would definitely do some more protection work on yourself, okay? You know, and make sure you're turned into a spiritual group. You know, you've got a crew that believes in the things that you believe in, all right? So you've got people to bounce off of. You've got a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius over here as well, kind of. Yeah. I don't know, but... I've, <laughs> I feel like that's the person that's stalking you. But with this new um, opportunity, I feel, that's coming towards you, you get to show the world the, another side of yourself. And they're saying, don't be afraid to do it, okay? Be yourself. We've got Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Libra, Taurus. <clears throat> so, <laughs> this new start could literally come to you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> okay, Gemini. Yeah, some of you, maybe you've just been getting your rest or you've been feeling really tired, all right? And you've definitely ended something with someone, but you have that expectation of them coming right back, okay? To get on your nerves and steal more time. And you're right, they are coming in. They do want to communicate with you. But like I said, you've got a wealthy man here. And we've got unexpected income. So I feel like, you know, your life is going to drastically change. I feel like your community is going to grow. Yeah, some of you, you're actually great fortune. Yeah, you're going to be able to change a job as well. Or maybe like you're working two jobs, you only need to work one.
All right, that's how great this new start is for you. All right, and it's like you have a lot of control over the direction you go in, <clears throat> which I think is amazing. All right. Gemini. Next couple of weeks. We've got listen to your heart, intuitive insights you can trust, taking care of others, perhaps too much. And we've got release, let go of your past and ending that makes way for new opportunities, time to move on. And we've got opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself um, or others, overly ambitious people. And we've got there is a better choice, not seeing things clearly, running away from the truth. <clears throat> All right, but I feel like this other person is going to make you see the truth. Be like, I am the truth. All right. Gemini. Ooh, shower of abundance. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, my throat. To heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept uh, abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow. All right, I hope you enjoyed that reading. <coughs> I should get some water. But yes, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, I am going to pause and get some water. All right, so now we're going to move on to Aquarius. All right, so this is your general reading for the next couple of weeks. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rise, and Venus signs, please. And let's see. So we've got that new moon Scorpio eclipse tonight. So let's have a look. Okay, what do we have for you, Aquarius? We have prosperity lies ahead and you and your loved ones are safe. Amazing. Okay, Aquarius. We got it's up to you and the situation will improve. All right, so maybe you guys are restrained from someone in your friendship group, family, whatever it is, and you're just kind of worried. All right, that's a new moon in Taurus and a new moon in Cancer. Okay, so they're saying, look, the situation will improve, all right? And, and maybe they are saying it's up to you as well, like how you handle this situation as well going forward. All right, so let's see. Oof. <laughs> Aquarius. Yeah, we've got eight of swords, four of wands, two of swords. Yeah, so this is definitely something that's affecting your home, your family life. All right, maybe this is just you really wanting things to get better, but you kind of feel like maybe some things went a little bit too far, you know? So they're saying, look, it's up to you. What road you want to go down? You can make the situation worse, all right? By staying in no contact or, you know, not trying to resolve the situation. Or you can come back as if, you know, you've done nothing wrong. Now, this might not be you. This could also be the other person in this situation, right? Yeah, we've got six of swords. Yeah, I'm definitely hearing something about a dictatorship. <laughs> yeah, the hangman. It's like someone really does feel the need to be in control of, of everything. So this could also be the person that you're dealing with. Maybe this is you as well. And I even feel like maybe in the sense it's gone too far, maybe they got other family members involved and they're really trying to create their own narrative of what's going on but not actually telling you the truth, which is why you're sort of being in agony here, okay? Because your foundation isn't solid right now. It's all over the place. But we've got the high priestess here. I just think this is a time that, you know, you've got to go deeper, all right? You've got to go deeper into your spirituality as well, and you've got to gain your strength back physically in order to handle this situation. <clears throat> Yeah, nine of wands. It just feels like you're getting blocked at every turn, all right? Or this is how this person feels that they're getting blocked at every single turn. It's 
Someone's definitely getting more and more angrier in this situation, okay? To the point where they're just watching everything go down from the sidelines, but soon they're about to get involved. This could be you. Again, this could be the other person. Someone could definitely be in a situation that is involved in money, all right? Maybe it's like they, they allowed their bills to get too high. Maybe some things were still left in your name. I'm not sure. It just feels all a bit like messy, something you're finding out after the fact. Like maybe you were paying something to someone and they weren't paying, you know, what they said they were paying for and things have just gone a bit crazy. But yeah, we've got the Wheel of Fortune here. So I really feel like there is balance and stability coming back. Okay, you are going to be able to take control of your situation. Maybe you're worried about your debt or you're hiding it from someone or they're hiding it from you. Yeah, we've got the devil here. <clears throat> I definitely feel like someone is still hiding some things from you. And when it comes to like debt, receipts, money, stuff like that. So maybe this has kind of all been going on. This is like with this high priestess energy, it's like you've been really trying to keep things a secret and cut and keep things small, but people keep finding out little things and then it gets worse and worse. So you're truly trying to keep everything under control. Again, this could be the other person, but we've got judgment. So it definitely feels like all of this is going to be coming to the surface. All right. And um, yeah, over the next two weeks, it feels like though people are trying to turn... I think I said that already, right? They're trying to turn other people against you. It's almost like they want to hang you publicly and make you feel ashamed. So this could either be you planning to do this to the person, which is why they're saying this is up to you how you handle this, or maybe this is about you getting revenge from this person, okay? But they're saying everything is well, okay? Maybe the it's not as bad as you think because things are going to be sorted out. There's debt recovery program. There's all types of things that can help you in this situation. And you do have prosperity that lies ahead. All right. So you've got, <clears throat> got Capricorn energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, that's Leo. Okay, Aquarius. We've got main female, we've got distant horizons, we've got message of concern. We've got great fortune coming towards you. Expectation, yeah, we've got occupation, <clears throat> got wealthy man here, and we got coffin. So, yeah, even for some of you, maybe this person's job ended and they didn't want to tell you, or yours did, and you didn't want to tell anybody because you thought, okay, it's all right, I'll get into another job or whatever. But we do have unexpected income, <coughs> and we've got privileged lady, and we've got a new pathway open up, opening up for you as well. Definitely feel like someone's going to be on the receiving end of some negative stuff soon, whoever was trying to do stuff to you. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> I did drink water. Okay, so now we're going to read you. All right, so let's read you some of these. <sighs> Sorry. <coughs> Talking a lot today. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see, what do we have for Aquarius? Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. Being compensated for your creative talents. And we've got awakening. Change the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness. A temporary pause in action. And then we've got hermit. Find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your spiritual growth. That's uh, Virgo energy. And then we've got 10 of winter. So the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency. All right. So it is going to get better over the next couple of weeks. <clears throat> All right, Aquarius, steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress you've been, um, you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.